Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another SketchUp lesson. Today, friends, we're going to make a tiny jet that is laser cuttable. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to launch SketchUp. There will be a link in the description if you have not used it before. Remember, we always click the down arrow when we pick the size. Remember, remember we always click the down arrow and we need to choose the correct project. We're going to use decimal millimeters today. When it launches, you can click on this gentleman to get rid of him. Click on the save to choose SketchUp. And we're going to call this one Tiny Jet. And then also make sure you put your initials on it because we're going to use those later. Friends, our first command is C for circle. I want you to stretch it out on the green axis and I want you to type 10 and press enter. You can't see it because it's tiny. We're going to do shift Z to zoom in and find it. Hit the space bar, click on the outside edge. Click on the word entity or the entity tool and we want to backspace and make that 60 and press enter. That makes it more smooth. Close that entity info and now we're going to do T for tape measure. And I want you to stretch it out on the red axis 75 this way. Stretch it on the red axis 75 this way and press enter. Space bar, double click, S for scale. Stretch it out and touch that first point. Note if you can't really see it, you can zoom in and it'll tell you that you found it. Then in the back, same thing. Stretch and just click on that guide point. So we have just built a fuselage that is 150 by 20. This is what I want you to have for the rest of the project. Friends, the next step, I'm going to click this tab again, O for orbit. Look at it from above is to make the area where the wings are. We're going to do that with R for rectangle from the origin, but I need you to tap control so it does a rectangle around the middle. We're going to do 45, 4 and press enter. That is going to be the rectangle we use there. We're going to do the same thing from the end point in the rear of the aircraft, only this one is going to be 40, 4 and press enter. We'll hit E for erase, and we're going to get rid of the extra pieces back here. We will be able to slide in a fin at this location. Notice I can get rid of that point as well. And then we're going to hit space bar, and I'm going to delete the center section where we're going to put the wing. That's pretty darn slick. Now let's move up and make a canopy. We're going to do T for tape measure, and I want you to type 23 and press enter. I want you to hit T and move up and click right on that line. This lets us use the two-point arc. We're going to click out here and choose this. And I just want you to go from that section, and I want you to go back. See how it says about 25? That's perfect. And make a bubble. You've got a little room to play here. When you're done, hit E for erase and cut that out. Do C for circle. And we're going to go a little lower than middle. We're going to stretch it out so it's a little bit from the top. You get to pick your numbers here. Then do space bar double click do s for scale and stretch it out so the bubble looks the way you want another cool option from here is to click on the rotation tool and click on the first spot and the second spot and you can actually twist this so it's got a rotation you like then do m for move and here's another cool trick if i start on the edge it lets me snap to the middle so i can drag it right to the spot where i want it I'm going to return to S for scale and I'm going to shrink it just a little bit so it looks just the way I want. You do want to make sure you have some material up here so when you're flying your aircraft, this part does not break. Spacebar, click on this and let's hit delete. Friends, let's do T for tape measure and I want you to come down here two millimeters. This gives us a dot to work from. We're going to do R for rectangle and I want you to make a four comma two rectangle and we are going to use this for connecting our rubber band tube. Let's do T again and let's stretch this out and we want to go 60 and then we want to come down and connect it straight to this line. Let's do L for line and we're going to connect from the top edge to that point we just made and then we're going to connect from this spot straight down. When you hit E for erase and get rid of that you'll see that is a fantastic spot for a rubber band launched aircraft. The last thing we need to do, friends, is add a tail. We're going to do L for line. I need you to make sure you're on the green axis, and I want you to type 30 and press enter. We're going to go out in front of this line just a little bit. 
I'll let you pick that number and then hit E for erase. And friends, you have just built a laser cut tiny jet fuselage. How cool is that? We need to do P for push pull. Remember to click your tab, P for push pull. We need to raise it up four millimeters. And then I'm also gonna tell you space bar. And I want you to triple click one, two, three. So you can see it is blue everywhere. And I want you to make it a group. That way it stays one piece. O for orbit. And friends, it's time to make a wing. Make sure you click your tab so your shortcuts are going where they're supposed to. We're gonna click up in front of that guide point. Make sure you're on the green axis and I need you to type 15. This gets us right below the fuselage. This way we can use our cardboard efficiently. I need you to hit R for rectangle, stretch it across. Today we're gonna to do a 110 comma 50 for our first wing. Let's hide our fuselage. So I'm doing space bar, right click and hide. All right, friends, let's hit E to erase. Make sure you zoom in and put that tiny circle there and let's get rid of this line because it's not gonna help us with the wing. I want you to do R for rectangle and I want you to find the teal midpoint. Now we need to make a rectangle that wraps around the middle and I need it to look like this shape so it's skinny and then tall. And we're gonna type four comma 40 for the shape of this one right here. We're gonna go up to the top and do the same thing once again, making a four comma 40 rectangle and press and enter. We're gonna hit E for erase and just get rid of the outsides. Trust me, it's not time to get rid of the inside one yet. Now we're gonna do L for line. And I want you to start from the midpoint and go all the way out here. Start from the midpoint and go all the way out here. Now do E for erase. And this, friends, becomes your wing because we get rid of these little parts right here as well. Let's not forget this guy right here. P for push pull. Four millimeters and press enter. Let's do space bar, triple click, one, two, three, and make it a group as well. All right, friends, so let me show you how to bring all your parts back. If you move over here to the glasses and choose unhide all, you can see both our projects. I'm gonna do H for hand and pan, and we wanna move over here, and we wanna make the horizontal stabilizer. Friends, I'm gonna draw this next part up here on the red line. Let's do R for rectangle, get close to that red axis, and I need you to type 56 comma 28, and press enter. Friends, with it still in rectangle mode, click the midpoint, tap control, and we want to make a four comma 20 rectangle. Hit E for erase and let's get rid of those corners. Notice I held the mouse down and got rid of them that time. Kind of a neat trick. We're gonna go L for line and we're gonna connect from this to this. Finish with that E for erase. Once again, I'll try that drag and touch trick. Pretty slick and pretty slick. And then finally, this is how the tail is gonna push in or the horizontal stabilizer. Space bar, P for push pull, raise it up, four, press enter. Space bar, triple click, one, two, three, right click, and we want to make it a group. Friends, it's time to move this into place. Check out this trick. I'm going to do T for tape measure, making sure that I'm on the right screen. I'm just going to go to this bottom edge, and I'm going to come out to what I think is close, and then I'm going to go along the red axis, five away. Now I can do space bar, click the shape, M for move, and if I grab that corner and take it right to it, I can see just how well I lined it up. Friends, can't do it much better than that. Now we've got the entire project set up, so now we can download it as an STL and then send it to Tinkercad to prepare for laser cutting. Once again, space bar, grab everything, choose the three buttons, and let's choose download STL. Remember, I always put these in my downloads folder. It's got TinyJet and my initials, which is fantastic. Also, don't forget, you always want to hit save. SketchUp does save to the cloud, but you have to be the one hitting the button to make sure that it happens. Friends, the final step looks like this. Visit Tinkercad. Sign in with Google if you've never been here before. Choose Create New Design. When it launches, choose Import. Choose the file. Visit Downloads. Find your tiny jet. Keep all the measurements and choose Import. Because this is tiny, this is totally how it is in the project. We simply hit export 
SVG for laser cutting and once again save it where you need it if you're in my classroom we save it to the STL folder once again change it to your name so this is tiny jet and we're gonna put MDH and because I've done this once or a hundred times I'm gonna call mine tiny jet 7 friends once you're done you can laser cut and put this together because of the way we built it the wings are adjustable they slide forward and back you can add clay and you can actually make this awesome little tiny jet fly pretty fantastic i've got a bunch of other lessons i'll make sure they're added so you can track them down for how to fly and then also how to mod and just make cooler things as you try and make the best jet ever friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about sketchup made simple of course if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day